Let me warn you. It's bad. Real bad. It's Hickman. Hickman? Bob Hickman? He's been badly mutilated, John. Tortured, really. My God, Sam! Has Bob's wife, Catherine, been informed? When the call came in, I was told Hickman's captain was headed to their house. They have a little girl, don't they? Yeah. Valerie. Her name is Valerie. Look, John, I know you and Bob went back a long way. A long way? Hell, Sam, Bob and I went through the academy together. We shared a ride for five years. I'm that little girl's godfather. Sam, Bob was my best friend. Yeah, yeah, you could say we went back a long way. I'm sorry, John, I... Yeah, I'm sorry, too. Sorry the city is so full of dirtbags, creeps, and losers. Bob was a great guy, Sam. A great cop. Who the hell would do this to him? What the hell was he doing out there? I don't know, John. It's your job to find out. My job is to pick up the body and find the cause of death. Carrie, the man appears intoxicated and a bit agitated. This young man appears interested in the alley proceedings. Hello, I'm Detective Carrie, LAPD. Do you mind answering a question or two? No, sir. I, I mean, I mean, yes, sir. Yeah, I'll answer you. What is your name, sir? Jack. Two Jack. Sir, did you see any unusual activity or unfamiliar cars in the neighborhood? I hear... I hear shots. What time might you have heard these shots, sir? It was... It, 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 pop, 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 pop. And I just hear them shots. I was scared. Any other information you could give me, sir? Pop, pop, pop. Yeah, I, I know this sound. It's it killing the children. Hello, I'm Detective Carey with the LAPD. Would you mind answering a few questions? Ain't seen nothing, man. Just chillin'. Some law about living. The young man's interest appears a bit suspicious. Always record your gut feeling. Sometimes this job is pure instincts. I'm Detective Carey, Major Crimes, Homicide, LAPD. I'd like to ask you a question or two. Whatever, man. I'm just hanging. Let's start with your name. What is it, and do you live in the neighborhood, or are you just visiting? Man, this be my hood. I mean, I've been Raymond Jones the third. Well, Raymond, if this is your neighborhood, then you must know what goes on around. What happened here tonight? You see anything unusual? Maybe a different car or some folks from another neighborhood? Ain't seen nor heard nothing. And just out with some fresh L.A. air. So, Mr. Jones, what you're telling me is you don't have anything to tell me. Is that correct? That's straight up. Ain't seen nothing, done nothing, know nothing. Thank you, sir. But Woodbury and I have our patrol car. It's your homicide kit.
graffiti mars the neighborhood. Graffiti is often left behind by gangs. Recording the symbol could prove useful. The tortured and tormented body of Bob Hickman, LAPD, lies lifeless among the alley debris. An obvious case of felonious homicide. An empty holster can mean only one thing, another gun on the street. A gruesome sight, contusions and burn marks appear on Hickman's abused body. A lipstick-stained cigarette lies near Hickman's body. Recording information at the crime scene ensures accurate reports later. Noting that a cigarette lay near the body could prove important later. Detective, this cigarette could be evidence. It's the Lucky Mini Mart dumpster. The body of a young boy lies strewn in the dumpster. Bullet wounds puncture the boy's body. He looks no more than six or seven years of age. Recording information at the crime scene ensures accurate reports later. John, have you found something? It's Sam Nobles, Deputy Coroner, Los Angeles County. Sam, we're gonna need another ambulance. There's a body of a young boy in the dumpster. We'll get another car here, John. He's just a child, Sam. What's happening on our streets? It's a sad state of affairs, John. It's situations like this, a child victimized by violence, that makes it tough to do this job. Sam, do you have a preliminary finding on Hickman's cause of death? It's hard to say, John. There are no evident bullet wounds. There are cervical contusions, possibly asphyxiation. There's no unusual sputum, so it's difficult to think poisoning, but I'm not ruling anything out. Whoever did this was definitely non compartmentous By the way, notice that the index finger on the right hand is missing. It's Officer Bruce Woody Woodbury, LAPD. Officer Woodbury, when we're finished here, I want the neighborhood canvas to see if anyone's missing a child, but has not reported it yet. Yes, sir. Officer Woodbury, I'm taking over as lead investigator. Yes, sir, Detective Carey. I have my crime scene log for you. It's Officer Malcolm Allen, LAPD. Were you the first on the scene? Yes, sir. Officer Allen and I were on patrol. He was driving. As we passed the alley, I looked to my right. I saw the body. We radioed it in, stopped, set up the perimeter. I didn't know it was Hickman until we got up to the body. I can tell you, sir, I was shocked. He was the last person I expected to see. He was a fine officer. Is there anything else you can tell me, Officer Woodbury? No. We rolled by, saw the body, radioed it in. There was no one in the alley besides the body. The neighbors came out once we set up the perimeter. It was quiet when we got here.
Officer, I want you to notify Detective Headquarters and Communications we've discovered another homicide. Approximate age, six years, apparent victim of gunshot wounds. Have Detective Headquarters run a search on children reported missing, matching this child's description. Yes, sir. I'll be stepping in as lead investigator officer. Can you tell me what the situation was when you got here? Yes, sir. Woodbury and I were on our regular patrol. We spotted the body as we drove by. We radioed in, then moved in on the scene. We checked the alley for possible assailants, but found no one. Everything is pretty much as it was when we arrived. That's it? Yes, sir. The body was just lying there. I didn't know him, but Woody told me that the deceased was a cop. Undercover guy working the neighborhood. Oh, Pittman or something like that. It's Hickman, and yes, he was working the crash unit, although I didn't know he was working this neighborhood. You've never seen him before, and this is your regular district? Yes, sir, that is correct. I've never seen him before. It's Chester, Julie Chester, criminalist SID. It looks like it's going to be a busy night for you, Chester. Unfortunately, our streets are being taken over by violence. Innocent people being killed, it's uncivilized, sir. Chester, take over on the evidence. Yes, Detective. Whenever you're ready, fellas, I'm finished. John, we can handle it from here. Stop by tomorrow for the autopsy. We'll know more then.